the kids seem to like it. Every time I see somebody, they go, oh yeah, man, your new album's great, and that makes me feel really good because uh, hopefully that you know, will keep progressing and every album will sell more. I mean, we're not just after money, but obviously we're gonna be able to make a living at this, so. We're just like Kiss, we put out solo albums. Well, what it is is Glenn is a very talented individual. He can not just play drums, he can play guitar and bass and sing as well, so he just had a bunch of stuff and he decided to record an album and I helped him out a little bit. I wrote like the music to one song. And then with me personally, now that Nuclear Assault is just writing, the stuff I'm doing on my side project, which is called Brutal Truth, it's just a bit more death metal Nuclear Assault, so I couldn't submit those riffs to Nuclear Assault. It wouldn't have fit anyway. So I called up a couple of my friends and we got a deal with combat. And Anthony's got a thing going called Chainsaw. And John, uh, he's doing something, I don't know what it is. But yeah, I mean, if you're creative, if you can make music, you might as well do as much as you can and not be limited. Because the stuff I'm doing wouldn't fit in Nuclear Assault. It's too simple and fast. So it's just, if you're writing something and it's good, I mean, do something with it, you know? Make your mark. We're not trying to be a political band per se, like preaching down people's throats, but we're always going to have a point to make because we realize that there's a lot of 15 year old kids who are really impressionable and really look up to the band. People come to you like, oh, I idolize you, I worship you, and that just makes us laugh when they say that. But we realize that there is a kind of responsibility if people are going to be like that, then at least we should give them something to think about. <laughs> I think there's some kind of force out there, but I don't think it's, I don't believe in the Bible and that stuff, no. I mean, if there's a force out there, it's not something that's like some dude with a white beard, you know? We don't do anything consciously when we write songs, Rob. We just write what we feel. We don't say, hmm, this is a slow song, and this is a fast song, and stuff like that. We just write what we write, and it's nuclear assault. We don't say, hmm, you know, we don't plan it out, because the more you plan it out, the more fake it's gonna be. It's gonna come from the heart, naturally. The only way to do that is just write what you like. If you write a song and you like it, you put it out, fine. You can't care what everyone else thinks or else you'll go insane, <laughs> basically.
Remember Metallica came out in 85 and people thought it was so, I mean, the first song came out in 83, I'm sorry. But people thought that was so extreme and now they're so big. I think that's a good point. I think that's a good sign. And us too, I mean, we're a lot more extreme than Metallica. I love Metallica, I mean, but we're definitely a different thing. It's getting better. Nuclear Assault, I mean, shit, 1983, if we'd come out, they would have thought we were a total hardcore noise. And now you get a bit of respect. There'll never be a limit to extremity. I mean, Napalm Death now has a video on a photo disc, which is something that never would have been a reality years ago. So that just shows you that people are getting more used to noise.